records can be created for each idea you have on a particular source. You can create as many note cards for one source as you wish. To create a new note card, click on the word new next to the appropriate source. The first thing that you will be doing is giving your note card a title, something that identifies the particular note card. Pile is something we're going to get into later. We won't worry about that right now. If there's a URL you'd like to identify with the note card, you could put it here. The same as pages. If you have page numbers, you could put them here. And tags come in handy when you're creating your outline so that you can quickly find note cards which support a particular idea. Once you have started putting in tags for your note cards, they're going to be available in this drop down menu so that you can quickly find one um, tags that have already been created and they'll just pop up right in your tagline. The next option for you is direct quotation. You could put in the direct quotation from the source. As you can see, you have all kinds of formatting options. You can also insert images or graphs if you like. There's then the paraphrase section where you can paraphrase the direct quotation. And then finally, my ideas. This is where you interpret, evaluate, and reflect on the quotation and, and put it into your own idea. You do not have to have all three of these boxes filled in, but you do have to have at least one box filled in. So if you want to skip the direct quotation and paraphrasing and just put um, your interpretation of that in my ideas box, you can do that. And then you would hit save and you will see um, the additional note card number would show up under the note cards column. If you want to see the note cards that you have created for your citation list, you would just click show and it would show all the note cards that you have created. From here you can easily edit each note card if you need to make changes or update it. You could print each individual note card or you could delete the note card. The next thing we'll go over is printing your note cards. You cannot print your note cards from this bibliography page. You will need to go to the note cards tab up top. And here you will reach your note card tabletop. Card tabletop, you will see all the note cards that you've created for the particular bibliography that you last had opened. To print these note cards, we would simply click on the print button. I suggest selecting export to Word, works better here at our school, and hit submit. I would assume that you'd want to print all your note cards, so we'll leave that selected and hit submit again. You'll get a prompt to open with Microsoft Word and Word will open with all your note cards listed, including the source information. 